welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Diane Lepion, and today I want to give you guys the semi-official tour of my fall decor in my house. Obviously, as time goes on, you know, I might add a few things here and there, but I now feel like I'm officially, like, I have everything I want to have, and I am very, very excited. I am laundering my sheets right now, so, like, my bed's not made, so we can ignore that, but I've been trying to get the house nice and clean for it all, so you can see it. So, before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I post videos twice a week. Mondays are going to be home, vlog, that type of stuff. And then on Thursdays, we're doing fashion videos. Also, make sure to check out my Instagram. I'll link it down below because every Saturday I'm showing you guys a baking video. We are doing spoofy Saturdays and it is so, so fun. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Hi friends, it's Editing Dion. Um, I just wanted to come on and say that um, I mentioned in this video like, oh, I bought this, I bought that. Full disclosure, I did spend about $100 this year on brand new decorations, <laughs> JJ's Paul, from uh, Michael's and the Christmas tree shop. The things that I say I bought from the Dollar Tree, I bought three or four years ago. And I just want to talk about how it is okay to give yourself a break um, in terms of like not forcing yourself to be perfect all the time. I don't decorate for any other holiday. This is the only, fall is the only time of year that I would ever even think to buy decorations. I don't buy Christmas decorations for my own apartment. I don't buy Easter or any other decorations. Halloween and fall is the one time of year I decorate my house and it makes me so happy. So yeah, I spent $100 on brand new things. Like some of these decorations I've had for upwards of six years, like since my sophomore year of college. Um, and I'll have for another six years. Like I'm gonna have so many of these. I keep all of my decorations. Like even from the Dollar Tree, I don't care. I, keep, I never throw out decorations. So yeah, I bought something new now, but it, that means that I'm gonna get to use it for the next 10 years. I'm okay with that. Remember that it's okay to kind of not be so restrictive on yourself and give in to the little temptations every now and then because joy is what keeps the movement um, going and not just quitting because it was too restrictive. Okay, bye. Alrighty, so this is the outside of my door. There's JJ coming to greet you. Um, I actually need these pumpkins if you watched my fall crafts. Marnie, don't you dare. You little skank. Come on. Ugh, you bitch. I actually made those. So you can check out that video. I'll link it somewhere. I got this hay bale at the Christmas tree shop. I just wanted something to give it a little bit of height. And then I got this mat from Michael's. And then this is like a Halloween decoration from the 70s that my aunt gave me. All right, I need to go get my cat. So you walk into the door and on your right, you see my little ghosty hanging on my coat rack. I've had this ghost for so long that I know it needed to be in there. And then another thing from my fall craft you guys would recognize are these uh, lacy frame things. I am so obsessed with them. I'm gonna keep making them every single year. And then I had these paintings that my friends did for me that I just put spiders and spider web around it just so it fits in the theme. And then on the opposite side, we have this guy that my boyfriend's mom gave me. She gave me a bunch of Halloween stuff, so I took that. And this gorgeous bouquet that I got from Michael. See, my bed's not made. Just ignore that. Um, yeah, I got some like peonies, some, I don't know, pumpkins, a bunch of random things. I think it's cute. I'm not a big fake flower person, but it's cute. And then this is what my fireplace looks like. So I have two pumpkin garlands that my boyfriend's mom gave me. I have this gauzy tablecloth with a little, little foxy there. And then I actually strung up all of these lights within the um, garland just so I have something glowing and it's really cute. And then I have these two spooky lanterns that I found on the street and I think they are so so cool 
And to hide the wires, I just have some more cobwebs and a spider. This side of the door, I have this glow-in-the-dark skeleton. I've had this guy since college, so he comes along with me. And then I have the blood orange garland I made in the fall crafting video. On each of the curtains, I strung just like a maple leaf garland. You can see it on that side. And then I have this sort of like chalk board material garland that I drew pumpkins on last year. This is kind of the fall bedding that I've been using, but again, it's not made. I forgot to mention, but this sign is from the Christmas tree shop as well, it was $10. And this bow is from the Dollar Tree. And I've shown you guys these pillows. I got this one last year from the Christmas tree shop and this one this year. Pumpkin patch, these are like $7 each, they're not that expensive. This is more of a Christmassy throw blanket. I'm kind of in the market for a more autumnal one, but I'm not super worried about it. It's not really a big deal to me. The wreath I also made during the fall crafts video. Literally still so in love with this. And over here, I have the tablecloth I also got from the Christmas tree shop. These placemats are from my boyfriend's mom, again. This I made just of like random things I found on the ground and stuff, and I think it looks so cool and just a little bit different. I have a little pumpkin over there that I'm actually gonna use to bake with, but I have it out here for now. And then I have these two adorable towels that I got from Michael's, I think? Um, maybe the Christmas tree shop? I think the Christmas tree shop, because they're a dollar each. Um, the black cat in Come and Stay a Spell, and then Spooky Hollow Farm, Haunted Hayride, Corn Maze, like, so, so cute. I have my little bat from Bath and Body Works with Wicked Apple. I've never gotten that done before, but I love it. This is where I'm keeping my recycling, because why not? And then I actually moved Marnie's bowl up there, and I really like it because that's where her litter box is. But here we have another mummy from my boyfriend's mom. And, oh, one of the mummies up there fell down. That witch, which is also from my boyfriend's mom, and this garland I got from the Christmas tree shop. I wanted to bring in some, like, more ready, um, toned leaves. All right, I put the mummy back up there so you guys can see. You guys got this. Get spoopy. I added a little spider. It's very backlit. But... Yeah, paper lantern, I got it from the dollar store a few years ago. And here we have my Happy Halloween soap. I've shown you guys literally six times. And this Bath and Body Works um, wallflower thing, and I have fresh balsam in here, and it adds such a nice smell to the bathroom. It just smells like pine trees. And we got this little guy, so cute. But yeah, that's sort of overall the decor. clean with me is giving you guys sneak peeks but I wanted to do like one official like home tour and the hay bale was the last thing I wanted to get before I was all done so I'm really happy that I got it and I'm happy to show you guys around again maybe some things here and there will come to me but for right now I am like so pleased with how it is. I actually went more autumnal than I did Halloween-y this year. I know I have like 30,000 skeletons around, but usually I'm like strictly Halloween decor, and I really got into more autumnal decor. And I'm obsessed with the lace frames and the wreath from my crafts video, so definitely check it out because they were so easy and they're literally like, they bring me so much joy. And Follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I post content there almost every single day. Subscribe to my channel because I post content twice a week. And with that, have a happy, happy day. Bye.